The phone feels almost two-dimensional compared to what I'm used to. I'm pretty sure I've had rulers that are thicker than this. But do you want to know the funny part? They've still managed to get a headphone jack on there. You can actually see that the metal trim of the phone is so narrow that they've had to cut into the back plate just so it fits. Which goes to show that if a company wants to put a headphone jack on a phone, they can put a headphone jack on the phone. And the crazy part of this is that this is 2015. Could you imagine if we wanted to build the thinnest phone in the world now, in 2021, with all our performance and efficiency improvements, we could probably make a better phone that's 3.75 millimeters. But it's just that priorities have changed. In 2021, people want advanced camera systems and 5G and big batteries, and all of these things lead to bulkier phones. Plus, I just, I feel like being this thin is a little counterintuitive because it's so thin that it's more likely to break, but if you then put a case on it, it's not thin. It's still a beautiful bit of tech to look at and still an engineering marvel, but I reckon if a company released a really thin phone today, then tons of people would flock to go and see it, but very few of them would actually follow through and buy it. Okay. This is Huel. I've actually been drinking this stuff for like four years before the company actually reached out and wanted to sponsor something. But here we are. So when you buy Huel, you're basically buying a whole meal in powder form. You get a free shaker with it. And to make it, you literally just add water and shake. And it's actually built so that you don't even need to pour it into anything. 